supported employment service providers or agencies are specialists in disability inclusion and they work with both employers and employees across the HR cycle um, to get the best match, the right talent in the right job so that everyone succeeds. I think that supported employment can be an unfamiliar term because employers haven't traditionally looked to job seekers with disabilities. They may have had some misconceptions or some fears about costs of accommodation or risks of inclusive hiring. But we know that employers like Country Heritage Park, they understand that those um, misconceptions, those fears are unfounded. And we're really hoping that as awareness grows, businesses will start to recognize supported employment as a really key tool in diversifying their workforce um, and improving their bottom line. We know that creating a diverse and inclusive workforce um, brings about new perspectives, it fosters innovation, it encourages productivity in the workforce as a whole. So the supported employment process is very individualized. It starts with agencies getting to know the candidate. What are their transferable skills, their education, their experience and their interest, and what are their career goals? They also go through a process of exploration with the employer, with the business. What are they looking for? What's the right candidate that they can imagine adding to their workforce? Service providers can then make an introduction. Uh, they can facilitate all aspects of that HR process from recruitment to onboarding, training and retention over time. Programs like CASE's Mentorability Canada initiative are a great starting place for many businesses. Essentially, Mentorability facilitates short-term mentorships for people who have a disability. We identify them as the protege and we match them with someone who is working in a field of interest to them who we refer to as the mentor. These mentorships can take place in any sector and they last somewhere between an hour to a full day where the protégés are really gaining valuable experience and knowledge about a job that they're interested in. My name is Jamie Realm. I'm the CEO here for Country Heritage Park. For me it's a no-brainer. Country Heritage Park is really about community within community and any time that we can outreach where we can, we've been doing that. An introduction meeting was held uh, with uh, Basil and uh, quite frankly it was a pleasure to actually talk with him both uh, through interpreters and then in between him and I. Hello there. My name is Basil and I moved here to Canada from Syria. When I arrived here to Canada I was overwhelmed and didn't know American Sign Language or English. But because of Canadian hearing services they were able to teach me both languages. At that point, I was also looking for work, and so Canadian Hearing Services was able to refer me to March of Dimes and the Mentorability Program. So Mentorability offers unique opportunities for a person with a disability, which they might not normally have. And this is the opportunity for them to ask very specific questions about a job that they're interested in. They helped me with my resume. They helped me distribute it and I was able to find employment in the farming industry. I was able to meet, through the mentorship program, my employer, and it was a really great and helpful experience for me to be able to do that. Baz is just another person that kind of fits in with what's here. He's got a great sense of humor. He's probably one of the hardest working individuals I've ever known. The funny thing is, is that for uh, an individual like himself with what would be perceived as some obstacles in front, um, Basil's gone out of his way to be able to make sure that he's always working with people and that to me that's the key. The protégés are telling us that they have had the chance to learn what they need to pursue to be successful in their career or the job goal that they're pursuing. Some of the protégés have told us that they have actually learned about career opportunities that they didn't know existed before. When I met my employer through the mentorship program I knew through this program that I was given a chance. I wanted to show him that I had transferable skills from my homeland that I could apply here. You know what, my, my title says CEO. I may not look the role, but I know exactly what I do here. And I think every employer should be looking at any opportunity for people right now, particularly those that are gonna come in and work. Businesses are moving in the right direction. They're, they're recognizing that there may exist barriers in their hiring practices that they don't even know exist. 
and that it serves them well in terms of their company culture and success and bottom line to find out where those barriers are and, and to reduce them or to, to eliminate them. With the changing economy and the labour market in the state that it is right now, companies are struggling to find the talent that we need at the same time that there exists this vast pool of underutilized, highly talented employees. A lot of progress is being made and Case and our members are here to help. We've got resources and supports. We can share insights and guidance for employers on a really personal, individualized level so that each company has the support that they need. Just like for all of us, finding the right match is critically important. This isn't about doing something um, because it feels good. It's not about a political stance. It's about getting the right talent that companies are looking for in the seats behind the desk so that they can do good work. And so that the candidates who happen to experience disability have the opportunity to bring their strengths, their skills, their experience to the workforce in a, in a real way to make the valuable contributions that they have to make. Um, and that can only happen when there's a good match.